Hey family, who y'all are not going to believe this mess? Some of you probably will. I've heard about <laughs> drag queen story time at libraries and I'm like, that's not true. I, I mean, things be so crazy that in my mind, I can't even imagine it being possible. I witnessed something yesterday that blew my mind. It wasn't just a transgender person sitting down in drag dressed like a woman, you know, telling a story. They were doing splits, opening their let. I'm going to let y'all see it. I'm going to let y'all see it. I'm going to let you see it. Incredible. A couple months ago, I did some reels on the transgender community sexualizing our youth. As you can plainly see here, we are now talking about babies. I, I was blown that. away by the amount of hate that I had received from those videos, as well as a few of them were actually taken down by the platforms. Oh People calling me names because I was speaking out against the transgender community. How dare I do such a thing? <laughs> Except what I was seeing in a video was predators. I was seeing grown men dressed up, mm. not very mm. nicely, by the way, as women throwing their junk around to children mm -hmm. as if this is okay and if there's not a parent in that room that will advocate for their child and do the right thing for them then the rest of us have to stand up and do it because this is unacceptable and this is child abuse a huh. couple months ago i did some reels on the transgender community sexualizing our youth just repeating family 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 now, I'm going to say it. I watched that reel a couple of times because I wanted to see if any brown people were in that audience. And I didn't see any. I'm not saying that we don't participate in this foolishness, but for the most part, it was no brown people in there. I saw mothers smiling and laughing. They're holding toddlers in between their legs. What is the purpose What is the point in this type of display in front of babies? And this is what I'm talking about as far as sin is concerned. Once you crack the door to your heart to let the smallest sins enter, guess what? More sin is going to come in. And now you're going to have to open it wider and wider and wider there is no limit there is no ceiling to it sin is limitless and this is what i want to talk about family i've learned so much so much over the years i cannot possibly share everything that i've learned right now with you guys but i just want to say this witchcraft is real and a lot of people have taking their children and sacrifice their children to Satan. And this is one way that they do it. People are saying that we need to teach our children when they're young to accept gays, the LGBT, all the alphabet people. We need to let them accept that. No, we don't. We need to accept the ways of God. That's what we need to teach our children. Not accepting people's trashy lifestyles, sinful lifestyles, but this is what they call themselves doing. Oh, let's catch the children young. Let's screw up their minds and make them think it's okay to do this stuff when they're young. Because like all of us, we have been brainwashed during our childhood. We haven't grown up seeing major craziness like this, but oh, we have been brainwashed. We've been taught a whole lot of lies. And so what it did to us was it made us grow up having certain beliefs, trusting certain people because we were trained that way. And this is why the Bible says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is grown, he will not depart from it. Talking about spiritual things, righteous things, holy things. Because if you teach them that kind of crap that I just showed you, that's what they're going to grow up accepting and believing is okay when it certainly is not unbelievable 
You would definitely have to be some type of Satanist to sit with your babies and let them watch some crap like that. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I heard about transgender people reading to children. What is the point in that? For what? You need to be in clown costume to read to children? What foolish, stupid, ignorant parent would sit and allow something like that? They're satanic. They're into witchcraft. They have offered up their children unto Satan. And that's what that is, family. I have so much more detail that I can go into, but I'm not because I want this video to be short. I want y'all to see what the world is coming to. This is what they want to do with your children. Now, don't get me wrong because in any community of people, there are people who, I don't even know if I can say sensible. <laughs> well, sensible enough to know that this is not for children because I did see a drag queen. He was dressed in full drag and he was saying, it's ridiculous to present this in front of children. It's not for children. And I'm like, okay, that makes perfect sense. At least he has that knowledge. So I'm not saying every trans transgender person nor gay person is down with pushing this on children. I'm not saying that, but they're making it look as though the world is accepting of this and this is how it should go. We need to teach our babies and catch them young so they won't be bullying. That's bullying. That's bullying. Why in the world? Why in the world would any parent, except those who are Satanists, think that that's okay to do in front of their babies? These men are opening their legs, popping their butts. These babies are... In these are babies, y'all. I'm talking babies. These are little kids, babies, infants. Mothers are sitting on mats watching these. It's unbelievable. Look at it. Look at this mess. Look at this. For what? He looks possessed with many devils. And this is a black man here with his ignorant self, skipping and hopping around. This woman here is appalled by it which we all should be coming out saying she's against it and people are attacking her not attacking the mothers who abuse this is abuse as she said nobody's attacking the mothers they're attacking her for defending those children because those children need somebody to advocate them because if that's not a high level of abuse i don't know what it is my god this world is crazy family I am encouraging you to train your children the way God told you to because this is what they have to contend with in this sick world. Peace, love, and blessings, family.